Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn to Love DIY. Today we are creating a nautical wreath. I purchased some of the stuff at Dollar Tree uh, and then a couple other things I had on hand. And then the anchor I actually got at a thrift store for practically nothing. I think it was like 10 cents or something like that. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking my wreath. I'm going to take off the sticker once I kind of measure the piece of uh, the uh, felt that I'm going to be using and this is just to cover it so that we can cover the green however you can choose to paint yours I thought about that afterwards um, however I wanted to see how the look of this would look since it was my first try at creating something nautical themed anyway um, so here you see me here just trying to cover it and then I do end up covering it twice because you can see some of the green popping out and you'll see that in the next couple steps finish covering it once I'm gonna go over with the strips that I cut off now I would suggest because the way that I, I was testing this I have I hadn't created something like this in the past I would create a little bit thicker strips of the white and the blue um, and then go ahead and cover it that way and I ended up doing about two strips of the white for one of the the navy blue that I used and then I used the the rope there to hide the ends of that blue felt and then this is the last strip of the blue before I go ahead and attach the um, the rope quote-unquote they're going to be using as for the nautical theme here now um, this is the one that I bought at the Dollar Tree it's the thicker one I don't remember how many yards come but I only used one of the packets that I got and that was just me using about three turns um, on each of the ends of that blue felt or sorry two so I did frame it and then I did two loops however you can choose to do more or less and or you could just do use the the, um, the thinner of the twines here but I really like the way that this came out I used the thinner one that I had from Walmart uh, to tie uh, the top so that it is able to hang from the door and then I uh, went ahead and secured it with a little bit of hot glue on the bottom and then as I finished it I went ahead and left the anchor white and then I went ahead and just used a little bit of hot glue to secure that. Now, I did want to use the ribbon, as you can see here. I'm attempting to kind of figure out something, um, either a bow or strips on the back. But and in the long run, um, even though I tried to see if it would fit, I, I decided to set that aside and use it for a different project. All right, so I go ahead and just secure it with a little bit of hot glue on the edges that peek out from the, the wreath here, and I have a completed nautical theme wreath. So as you can see here on like at the beginning, this is our completed wreath. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe. Thanks for watching.